Hello, everyone. This is Chuck Whetstone. Thank you for joining me today on this podcast, uh, chuckwhetstonemusic.com. We are brought to you today on this great January day. It's cold outside, I know that. At least here is in Oklahoma. We're brought to you by heritagesongs.com. Here's one of my books that I want to talk to you about tonight. It says, Five Things to Remember So You Don't Forget. Thought-Provoking Lists to Preserve Your Memories. Uh, Julie and I had just been coming back la- last year or so. Yeah, uh, about a year and a half ago, we were coming back from College Station where her mother was, and she was in a memory care facility down there. And we just started talking about different things, and I said, you know, this is a great idea for a book that we could share with other people to help help us, help us remember the things that were important to us growing up or in our adult lifetime and share it with those, uh, our family members, our friends. Uh, uh, some of the topics we talk about here are name your favorite movie theme songs, like in the 60s, you know, uh, Lars theme, the theme to uh, the summer of 42, I can remember a lot of these, the theme to 2001, Space Odyssey, some of those are my favorites. Um, list your favorite movie theater candy, okay? And and there are, there's a place to list five things, five things to remember, and then you can tell the reason why. Uh, list your favorite movie theater candy. Well, mine would be Milk Duds, and my wife would probably prefer Heath Bars, and we would say, why? Well, I like the flavor of Milk Duds, and I like a little bit of caramel and chocolate, and so that's why I like it. Uh, here's another thing. List your favorite female vocalist. It could be any genre. It could be rock, pop, or soul, or country, anything. List your favorite top five favorite male vocalists, okay? Name your five favorite perfumes that you like to wear or smell. You know, when I was growing up, I loved um, Jovan Musk, English leather, and my mother bought me plenty of Avon, but I didn't like using Avon hardly at all, or Old Spice. No, the old old guys smell like Old Spice. And you finish this, and you do like my friend Morgan did at church. She bought several of these for me for Christmas presents, and her her reasoning was, and she told her family member, she said, I want you to, this is your gift this year, and then next year I want you to give it back to me completed. I want you to fill it out and give it up, give it back to me so I'll know what was important to you. And so this, this is just a fun little book to help you uh, stir the memories that are in the, your brain and get them down on paper for those that we love. Okay, that's enough of an advertisement. Let's, that's heritagesongs.com. So, Let's get to the song for this week, and that's what you came here for. It's a song I wrote called God is Moving. Now, let me give you the backstory for that. Uh, when I moved to Moore, Oklahoma, it was uh, the year 2000, and uh, I needed a, a place to use my skills and my gifts in, in the kingdom of God, and we discovered that Moore, Oklahoma was available, and so we made contact, and they contacted us. I, I, I got there, and they were in the middle of a building campaign. They were going to build a brand new building, a new facility. And they had just bought like 20 extra acres that they had had. They had, you know, like eight acres in the back uh, of this neighborhood, and they'd been there for years. But they decided they'd buy this 20-acre plot, and that, that would allow them to be on a main thoroughfare in Moore, Oklahoma, and that thoroughfare is called Eastern Avenue or also named, named uh, Toby Keith Avenue or Toby Keith Boulevard or whatever it is. But uh, made famous by Mr. Toby Keith. Oh, so this would allow us to put our pro- our church, new church building out there on Eastern Avenue for everybody to see. And it's also, by the way, almost, almost straight across from the Moore High School. So that's a cool thing too. A busy street, uh, students family members go up and down the street all the time. And so they built this brand new building on Eastern Avenue and access to that. And also we had access back to the back property so we could continue to have ministry back there. We uh, turned the gym into a full-time like uh, a family life center, they called it. And uh, that ministered to children and adults, everybody. And then the old sanctuary became the youth building, and that was a really cool thing for the, ch- the youth youth of the church to have plenty of room, and uh, we made a lot of modifications back there. But that was the year 2000 and 2001. Well, in 2001, we moved into the new facility. Like I said, uh, when I got there, we were in the process of raising money, having the f- campaign, and building the, the, the building. 
And uh, I was looking forward to getting on a bigger platform. Our platform in the old building was so small that I was, I think some of our people even stood on the on the bottom level. And then, you, you know, they weren't even on the platform. It was so small and so tight. And uh, our sound system was so bad. And it was interesting that we could even have any kind of quality sound there at all. But we did. So we got to the new place in, in June of 2001. And as we were approaching this time of moving in and having a uh, dedication, this is what churches do. They'll dedicate bu the building to God and, and for the glory of God. And they invite people to come and have sp maybe guest speakers and special music. Well, my pastor, Pastor Robert Moore, asked me, he said, Chuck, uh, didn't, didn't really ask me, but just kind of gave me the assignment, the task. Uh, Chuck, you, you're a songwriter. Why don't you write a song about our church for our dedication, a special song. And uh, man, I was like, oh, are you kidding me? I mean, this is a daunting task. I mean, this is really important and you're putting that on me. And yes, I've written maybe a hundred songs in my lifetime and some that are good, some that are bad and, and some that you've heard. Uh, but I said, okay, I'll do it. I'll try it. I'll, I'll go and, and I prayed about it and got my Bible and looked up some things. Well, during this time of raising funds and during this time of getting the new property, Pastor Moore would speak often uh, uh, from the book of Acts in the New Testament, chapter 2, verse 42. Let me read that for you. And it says this, And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, doctrine, <laughs> apostles doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. And so he would talk for that whole time that we were there and had we had different things printed up, pamphlets and um, bookmarks and all kind of things to keep this in front of the people, that there were four things that really were important that this scripture talks about. Number one, they talk about teaching, the teaching of the word. And then they also talk about um, uh, prayer. I mean, I lost it. Here we go. Uh, okay, let me let back again. They talk about teaching, the doctrine and then fellowship with one another, and then in breaking of bread, that's worship, and then and in prayers, okay? So these were the four things that were, that were big. So I came up with this song called God is Moving, and I used those four elements, and I, I turned them like this, worship, prayer, and uh, studying the Bible, reaching the lost, and having fellowship with one another. And so as you hear this song today, you can... Here are some of the things that Pastor Moore would say. Sometimes he'd preach and he'd get right on the edge of the stage and he would say, you got to get out on the edge. You got to get on the edge. And he's talking about getting on the edge with God and let him lead you with his Holy Spirit. And so these are some of the key points he would say. And, and so uh, I included some of those in this song. But uh, I get to the chorus of the song and I say, I believe God is moving through worship. And so I still believe that. And I trust you really enjoy this song. Um, it sounds so much better with a full band, but this recording is just me and the keyboard. I think you'll get the idea of it, and I hope it means a whole lot to you. So this is Chuck Whetstone. Thank you for joining me today on Chuck Whetstone Music. This song is called God is Moving. Until next time, God bless. Through fellowship
fellowship as we love one another. God is moving. God is moving. Today's the day. This is the Sin and we stand. 